Hey, you guys, welcome back to Lisa and Company and a super exciting collab. Today is a different kind of fall hosted by my newest friend, the glamorous Penny Pincher. She came up with this great open collab so we could highlight non-traditional fall decor. So I am doing up some spaces at my mom's. I really had to push myself out of my comfort zone to do this. So let's get started. Alrighty, first project up today is one of our favorite Dollar Tree pumpkins. I've already put a coat of Rust-Oleum's Chalked in linen white, and I have this great Dollar Tree scarf, and I'm gonna wrap it around this baby. So let's see how cool this turns out. I am gonna go ahead and put one more coat of the white paint on because, yeah, that orange comes through everything. So the scarf is a little too narrow to wrap up the pumpkin the way I want to. So I've trimmed off the finished edge down one side of each piece and I'm gonna be super lazy and I'm just gonna glue this together really quick. I only used a tiny bit of hot glue to make sure it's stuck and you know, it's stuck to the table too, right? I promise you're gonna understand where I'm going in just about two seconds. All right, once you're done that, open it all up. And I know, not exactly the tool that I was planning for, but we just have to poke a hole in the top of your styrofoam pumpkin. Now those sides are just a little bit short still, so we're gonna put a couple of tiny dabs of hot glue, stick those down, and this is where it gets crazy easy. I don't even have to explain this to you, but I will. You just take the long corners first, gather them together and tuck them in the hole. This could not be easier. I am stupid excited over the way this pumpkin is coming together. I decided to use a couple of the tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree to make the stem and I'm gonna give it a quick coat of white paint. So just a couple of embellishments for the top and I have these really pretty leaves and this tiny little white gypsum that I picked up at Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna throw some of that faux stain onto the stem. We're gonna stick that down and we're gonna add those all this stuff on top. Next project, and I love this one. I have two bowls from Dollar Tree. I have the stem of a pumpkin, I cut off something else, and I have some little twinkly lights. Now watch and see how quickly this goes together. You wanna take your power pack for the lights and make sure that is sitting outside the bowl. Just grab all the other ones and tuck them inside, and yeah, we're gonna glue it together. So I just wiped off the edge there to make sure that there was no residue or dust or anything left on top. I'm gonna to put a few dots of the E6000 around it, and then I'm gonna fill in with the hot glue so it has some quick adhesion while we wait for the E6000 to set up. I did the same here using the E6000 and the hot glue to put this on top. And I just wanna make sure I turn that so that with the battery pack at the back, you get the best view of that cool stem. I call this one my Cinderella pumpkin. And can you see why? So pretty. 
Okay, moving right along, next pumpkin. Now this one, I did a little blue with my linen white to get sort of the right color I was looking for. It's a little brighter, but there's a reason for that because I needed to show through this lace, which isn't exactly lace, it's a shirt from a thrift store. I'm just gonna move around the pumpkin using the circle at the top of the styrofoam and attaching the points all the way around. Once I've done that, I'm gonna do what we did on the other pumpkin, make a hole in the bottom and just tuck all that extra fabric in. Easy and simple. For the stem on this one, I used a twig from outside with a quick coat of the linen white paint. Now, for the bow, I have taken an entire spool of Dollar Tree ribbon. I'm just gonna wrap it around this piece of wood and then I'm gonna tie it all together with a couple of tails. This pumpkin ends up looking like something out of Victoria Magazine. Anybody remember that? Well, my mom was a huge fan. I thought the sign we picked up at Dollarama was pretty just the way it was. However, a little too much glitter for my mom. Now I had an original idea using those two small pumpkins and it just didn't work out. So I am taking those letters, those little wooden letters, and I'm gonna create a pumpkin sign. A quick coat of the chalked linen white and we'll be ready to go with this in no time. I make this faux stain with a couple of drops of burnt umber and some water and the beauty is it dries so much faster. I picked up this little kids pack at Dollarama and I'm gonna use this to make pumpkins for the bottom of the sign. Now I wanted to create a little bit of texture here so I kind of used a creamy peachy color. I used a little bit of white on top and on the center one I even added a little bit of blue. I have seen so many cool colored pumpkins out there this year. After I used the stain on those letters, I did go ahead and give them a little white dry brush on top, just again, so they had some great texture. Now I'm using the tumbling tower blocks to make it so the sign will stand up, but I'm adding the string back on because I'm not sure exactly how we're using this at my mom's. And here it is. My mom has this really cute cabinet in her entryway and she had already picked up these cute pumpkins on the weekend. That one that's sort of green and white apparently is called an acorn pumpkin. I just think it's a really cute display with the sign and all her blue and whites because she's all about the blue and white. We slipped over to her place today to get all of this non-traditional but totally blue and white lovin' fall set up for her while she was out. We couldn't wait to hear her reaction. So she has this really pretty mantle that she got a few years ago and we just completely covered it with beautiful blue and white fall decor. This little table down at the bottom is where I place that Cinderella pumpkin with a couple of other candles and just some simple greenery because I wanted those lights to really pop when she came home today. We really hope you enjoyed this video and its content today. And thanks again to the glamorous Penny Pincher for hosting this open collab today. Be sure to go and check out everyone else's channels and have a great Thanksgiving weekend.